Hi everyone and welcome back to Enough is Enough. Today we're going to be helping you improve your performances on Rainbow Six Siege by teaching you the layout and callouts of the favela map. It's a complicated building so hopefully we can make a little bit of sense of it for you and you're going to see some improvement tonight. We've got this coming right up. Hi everyone, Ace of Pirate here with you again today for another episode in the Enough is Enough map guide. One that I'm really excited about is getting the layout and callouts done for the favela map. Uh, it's one that I find quite difficult to learn so hopefully it's going to be useful for everybody. We're starting off here at the market spawn. There's uh, school alley, rooftop and market spawns on favela. That one was the market spawn. So we're going to head down first of all as always through the bottom level first and work our way up and we're heading in through shop and up through the stairs and then on our right the first room that we'll look at is Ant's apartment. There's a staircase that you can see in here and that's called Main Stairs and it runs all the way up to the, the top floor of the building here and there's another at the rear of the map which we'll see. So we'll head out of Ant's apartment and through stair hall into Biker's apartment. There's also a small kitchen area. If we bust through this door we can see that we'll be looking out into the courtyard area and then back into Biker's apartment and on the left as we came in we have Biker's bedroom and then next door to that we have Biker's garage. One thing that I've noticed about this map which helps it in, get set in my mind is that it's sort of like an L shape, we'll see that a little bit later on from a, an external view but you've got this corridor of rooms running along with then sort of rooms off to the right which you'll see in a minute. So back into Biker's apartment, we'll go through into Armoury Room. There's another external door here that leads out to Football Pitch, which is where the last one led to as well. And then off to the side there, you've also got Access Alley. So back into Armoury, there's a small room here on the left, which is known as Vault Room. And then we'll head into Laundry Room. And this is where the other staircase is located that runs all the way to the top of the building. So if we burst through that door, that leads out into Access Alleyway again. So this is sort of the, the right hand rooms that I was talking about. There's a column of these all the way up the building. So we'll head up back stairs onto the next floor. To our left, we've got Meth Lab. And then if we move through to the right of the stairs, we've got Grow Room. And then again we're going to get into that corridor of rooms that runs all the way to the front of the building. So we've got football apartment first of all. And we've got a door again that leads out into the courtyard area. So this is sort of directly above the door from Biker's apartment. And then we've got two rooms that come, two smaller rooms that come off this one. And we've got a football bedroom. And next door to that we've got football office. And a little door that leads out onto just a small sort of porch area but you've got to repel onto there there's no other way on there so back into football apartment that's grow room where we came from and we're going to keep heading towards the front of the building so we'll move through now into sort of that main stairs area again that's down to ant's apartment and we are now in ant's hall there's also ant's bedroom and next door to that we have a smaller kids bedroom so this is the top floor as it stands at the minute really. There is a rooftop on top where you can, if you head up main stairs, we'll take a little look out now, you can see. Um, but there's no actual rooms above there. So that's the top of the first staircase. And then over in that direction, the yellow building you can see, that's called packaging room. And that's the top of the, the back stairs staircase. And that's where we're going to head now. So that's 90% of the internal rooms done. So as I say, hopefully you'll see what I mean about that sort of L shape. And if you think of it in that way, um, hopefully it'll help you remember the layout a little better. So this is packaging room. And again, we can go out into that rooftop area and we'll have a little look over to the top of the main stairs staircase. 
So what we are going to do now is I'm going to head back down to where we started from. So we're going to go all the way back to the market spawn and we're going to work around the outside of the building from an external perspective. Now I don't do this for every map um, but I am going to cover all the breakable walls as well because as you probably noticed going around there are so many breakable walls on Favela that it really is important to, to understand where they lead. Uh, just as I'm on my way I'll just show you a little... Um, it there you can get up on top of that van and it gives you quite a good cover if you're working to to ant's apartment so let's get started with the external guard then so the first window that we're going to look at leads into ant's apartment we then have a double window leading into barker's bedroom we have a door leading into football office and we have another window there leading into ant's hall and have a single window leading into kids bedroom now the breakable walls on this side, the lower ones lead to Ant's apartment and the upper to Ant's hall. And then if we move around the corner we can see there's another small breakable wall there into Ant's apartment. And a window leading into the kitchen area of Ant's apartment and then Ant's bedroom above it. I'm just going to have to sort of, I'll climb up on here now, it's a little bit tricky because it's such a tight map to get a good view of some of the walls for you but we've got kids bedroom an aunt's apartment there and then we'll get into the courtyard area and we'll have a look at that side elevation there the first door that we look at is biker's apartment and then a breakable wall into aunt's apartment and then the long breakable wall the blue one there is into biker's apartment Window, uh, sorry, a door into laundry room and a breakable wall into laundry room. And then a single window into meth lab, breakable into meth lab, and then a double window into back stairs. We've got a long breakable wall into football apartment, followed by a door into football apartment. And then if we look onto the final, uh, final level up there, we've got a window and breakable wall into packaging room. So again, it's a little bit tricky around this side. I'll do my best to uh, to get the distance that I need to show you the walls there. If I just move around a little bit further back. We've got uh, breakable walls into meth lab all along this elevation. And then if we look further up, we've got some breakable walls into packaging room. And then moving into the alleyway, this is access alleyway. That's the door into laundry room. And then we've got some breakable walls, the first two panels of the vault room and the final blue one is into armoury room. And then that second floor yellow one's there, a grow room, followed by a meth lab and packaging room. So we have a door into armoury there. And then if we move out onto football pitch we've got a breakable wall into Barker's garage and a door there into Barker's garage. We've got a window into grow room window into football bedroom and then a breakable wall into grow room. Now these blue and green panels can all be broken. We've got Barker's garage followed by Barker's bedroom, football office followed by football bedroom. And then just moving further around to get the angle to the windows, we can see we've got a door there. That's the one that you need to repel to into football office. And what we're going to do now is we're going to head round, if we follow ourselves back up to the market spawn, past the white van, there is actually a staircase just beyond it on the right, and that's going to lead up onto market rooftops. The rooftops are like a whole other level almost in themselves for favela, because they basically create a big circle around this area. So we've got main stairs there, obviously not breachable for a brick wall from the back there, but we've got a window and a door around this side into main stairs. And then... If we look back on ourselves, we're going to see windows and breakable walls all leading into packaging room. So as I said, up on the rooftops here, it's like a big circle, if you will. There's these corrugated iron sort of roofing panels that lead from, from one set of rooftops to the next. So you can get an angle from almost any side of main stairs or packaging room packaging room as you can see is a little bit of a nightmare to defend because it's just got breakable panels on every side of it so if you've got a thermite or a hibana that's opening lines of sight into there um, it's a it's an absolute nightmare just take a quick look back there that's where the rooftop spawn is so again this might be your approach there 
always keep an eye on the main stairs on the left there for peakers um, it's always a popular spot and hopefully this is the angle that I was talking about earlier on so hopefully you can see what I mean there about this being sort of it's like a reverse L shape if you will so you've got your football apartment you've got your bikers apartment the green green and blue areas there it's almost colour coded for us you've got yellow packaging meth lab on the left of the screen you can just see the pinky red colour that's Ant's Hall Ant's apartment so but as you can see re leading from red through green and blue it's like that corridor of rooms and then you've got that little stack on the right hand side with laundry meth lab grow room and packaging room so hopefully if you can think about it in those terms it's just going to help you get your head around that layout a little bit more and give you an idea of maybe which windows you can punch out to get a line of sight on sort of externally approaching enemies and things like that so hopefully I've managed to make some sense of what is quite a complicated map. Give it another watch or two and it's going to really set it in your mind and you're going to have a much better idea of where to approach. Thanks again for watching. We really appreciate your support. Thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed so far. If you haven't, then please make sure to hit the subscribe button and you're going to get the notifications of all those updated videos we're going to be doing, as we have with all the maps, we're going to be doing the cameras and the objectives and the drones and external opportunities for Vavella as well. Just to hopefully make Make a, a difficult map a little bit more enjoyable so thanks again hopefully you've seen something that's going to help you say enough is enough and we'll see you next time